So organizations routinely purchase or allocate more GPU power than they actually require. And this gets into the headroom of the just-in-case uh, architectures that I see out there. So in other words, people were over-provisioned. They'll buy more storage than they need. They'll buy more processing than they need because they're looking for some headroom as they grow the applications, in this case, AI applications. However, what I'm finding in many of those the, many of those uh, instances, those case case studies, that they don't need the headroom. In other words, they're not going to be growing that fast. And you buying, you know, 50 GPUs, you know, when you only need uh, 10 GPUs, or you buying 50 GPUs when you could certainly, you know, do the same stuff and have adequate performance using just 20 CPUs, you know, different cores, CPUs versus GPUs, which are significantly cheaper, and, and by the way, take less power, that's going to be efficiency to the architecture. If you're buying more resources than you need, that's going to be money that flies out the window. So idle or underused GPUs waste money. Yeah, you know, that's kind of the assertions we're making here. And I think that we don't want to waste money. And, and I think we should make it our jobs not to waste money because the more money we waste, it's less money we can spend on other things, operations, security, governance, things like that. They're very important to deploying cloud-based systems and certainly cloud-based AI systems. So we get into a bit of uh, bad habits again uh, in, in, in many of the issues that we ran into with cloud computing when the public cloud first started to inflect, you know, 10, 15 years ago, was the fact that many enterprises allocated or provisioned way too many resources than they needed, and they had to pay for those resources. And they built applications around those resources, in many cases, leveraging those resources using static models, where they couldn't remove those resources at any time. So they needed to provision those resources, which were typically going to be over provision for that particular use case and end up spending way more money than it needed to spend on a single application that's been running, you know, for 10 years. In fact, many of the repatriations you're seeing these days is enterprises really kind of uh, fixing those bad architectural decisions that were made 10 years ago and allocating too much storage, too much processing power, things like that. 